Hi there. Uh, this month we're going to do a small video to showcase one of the very interesting features of, of FreeCAD, uh, which is the Expressions engine. Um, this is an engine that works through uh, OpenCAD that allows you to bind values from any area to values to another area. So you can make one value depend on another value somewhere else. And uh, at the moment, this only works with numbers, with numerical values, but um, it might be extended in the future quite easily. So this allows you, for example, let me show you here. This is a new document. Uh, let's create a column. And if you go in the properties, any properties where when you click on it, you see this symbol. It means it's expressions enabled. Uh, that means here you can enter an expression. And how does that work? Basically, either you click this icon or you start with uh, equal symbol. And when you do this, uh, you can write an expression here. And the easiest um, is, for example, inside the same object, you can write the another property. For example, I'm here in my width uh, property, and I could link the value of the width property to length property in order to have the width uh, to always be the same value as, as the length. So I would simply put length here. And now my width value is, is bound. If I change this to 50 centimeter, for example, you see that the width has been updated as well uh, because it's bound. Uh, I could do this differently. For example, for example, I could do I could write some more complex things like half the length. And if I update this value, the width stays half the length. This works uh, across other objects as well. Let's make another one here. And let's say I want the height of this one to be equal to the height of the other one. So here I would take my expression. You see that if you hover the mouse over these objects here, they have um, a parent name, which is a label, which you can change, like for example, column one and column two. This is the label, this is the apparent name which appears here. But uh, each of these objects still has an internal name that appears here in the status bar. Uh, this is important because uh, many objects can have the same label, but um, the, the internal name is throughout the, the document. So there is only one object with, with that name. Uh, so in all those operations, you refer to an object by its internal name. It's like an ID and uh, guarantees that uh, you're referring to the same object. So in this case, if I want this object to take the height of this one, uh, this is this one, is the internal name is structure. So here I can go in my height property and say I want structure dot height. And now this is taking the height of the structure one. If I go here and I change to 500, you see that both get updated. So this is really powerful. Um, any properties anywhere that has this symbol, uh, in sketches you have the same. Um, and I create a rectangle here.
you see this symbol. I can take, for example, the width on my structure. Structure dot width. And you see that this dimension uh, changes color to indicate that it's driven, it's automatic. Now, if I change the length of this one, of course, the width of this column is the length of this rectangle, and it got updated. So this works throughout FreeCAD, and you can just link anything to anything else. Uh, this is really, a really powerful um, parametric system. Uh, another an interesting uh, consequence of this is spreadsheets. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, this is the tab widget uh, that you can download from the add-on manager here, uh, and it replaces your your uh, workbench menu uh, with with a quite more elegant one uh, like this one. Um, so if we go to the spreadsheet module, we can create a new spreadsheet. And this works like any other spreadsheet application that you already know, like Microsoft Excel or um, OpenOffice. And here too, the, the content of the cells can link to expressions or to values from the model. For example, I could say here, um, column one height. And here, place a value. Start with equal structure dot height. And if I don't like the millimeters, I can go to properties here and display unit and say I want it displayed in meters. Um, so you can really use your uh, spreadsheet to, to gather values from, from your model. Uh, you can't count anything. I can, you can even count uh, volume, for example, call um, on volume equals structure dot shape dot volume. And I want this also in cubic meters. So that's one use, and um, another interesting use is the contrary. Um, for example, let's make a wall here. And you see this, this wall has a length property, and I could create a new spreadsheet. I say here wall length and I say two meters. Now I can here give an alias to this cell, which is like a name by which we can refer it in other places of record. And then here I can, instead of specifying um, a value, I can take the value of my spreadsheets. If I go back here and change this to 4 meters, the wall has changed as well. So this basically is the expression engine, and um, it's really, really something useful um, that you can combine and use uh, in any number of ways. Um, in the BIM workbench, in the Arch workbench, we have this schedule tool here, which basically creates uh, spreadsheets and allow you to automatically fill the cells with uh, data gathered from your, your model. But it's still something very, very rough. And, um, 
So I won't demonstrate this time because it would be um, creating a schedule is a matter for another video. Um, but it basically creates such a spreadsheet and fills the cells with with values from from the model the, from the model, uh, except that you don't need to do it uh, manually. It would allow you to gather values uh, automatically. Um, so that's basically it for this time. Uh, have fun with this and thanks for watching. And see you next month. Bye.